I am a curious cat. And I'm always on the lookout for ways to have fun. As is my brother. I have to practice my Tai Chi for the martial arts demonstration. Martial arts are a means of self-defense. And Tai Chi is one of many. But Tai Chi is not just about self-defense. Many think of it as a form of health, fitness, and art. And some describe it as meditation in motion. The movements are slow and graceful. They're based on the way animals move. Tai Chi is exercise for the mind and the body. What about you? Do you know a martial art? I like doing karate because my friend Max is there and Isabella is there and a lot of my friends do it. And it's just good exercise and it feels good. We do stretches, we do kicks, we do punches, we get all kinds of stuff. This is one that we do. It's like a block and then a punch. Sometimes it's good for defense. There's also katas, which is like different moves put together in one. And there's one called helicopter, where she stands in the middle, she swings the rope around and around, and you have to jump over it. If it touches your feet, you're out. It's very fun. I love to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that was a great story. Martial arts teaches us new ways to move. Ooh, look at that guy go. This is capoeira, an African-Brazilian martial art. It looks like a combination of gymnastics, acrobatics, and breakdancing. African slaves in Brazil created this art 400 years ago. Today, it's getting more and more popular all over the world. Brazil has declared it a national sport. It's a dance, a sport, a game, and a martial art, full of culture and tradition, all rolled into one. So, whether it's Tai Chi, Karate, or Capoeira, people all over the world like sweating it out in martial art. Whoa! Oh. What about you? Animals are a big part of our world. I guess I'm just one of my in China, one animal people think is lucky is the bat. Good luck, 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 luck. Luck's my name. It's true. In China, bats became popular because foo, the sound for bat, is the same sound for the word lucky. So often, clothing and furniture are decorated with pictures of bats. A lot of people elsewhere think bats are scary, but the truth is bats are smart and clean and they're the only mammal that can fly. Most importantly, bats help our environment. They help pollinate fruits and flowers. So I guess bats really are lucky. What about you? Has an animal ever brought you luck? I think crickets are lucky. I was driving to the country, and the first day I was walking out with my grandpa, I heard a chirp from the cricket. When I was running after it, I saw this, like, it's kind of like a family of a newt, but it's a salamander. I saw the salamander hiding in the grass and the little cricket jumping up and down on its back. <laughs> well, I was wishing um, that my, my grandma would make me pancakes, and then the next morning my grandma called out, who wants pancakes, and I knew, and then I got the luck that I wanted. Now that's a great story. There's a lot of luck out there. Guess what they think is lucky in Japan? Frogs! How about that? In Japan, frogs are especially popular around New Year's. Some believe these little guys can bring money, change bad luck into good luck, and prevent accidents. And by the way, you absolutely do not get warts from a frog, so kiss away! So, whether it's a bat, a cricket, or a frog, people all over the world think animals can bring them luck. What about you? Yum! Some of my favorite times of the day are meal times. And dessert time is super yummy. I bet you agree. But did you know that desserts really aren't that big a deal in China? In fact, a typical dessert would be fresh fruit or candied ginger. Sweet dishes are eaten at big banquets or holidays, but not every day. One of my all-time favorite desserts are moon cakes. We eat these during the moon festival, an important Chinese holiday. It's like a cookie, stuffed with different sweet fillings. Some moon cakes have an egg yolk in the middle, which looks like a bright moon. These delicious round cakes symbolize family togetherness. One last thing. Did you know that Chinese fortune cookies aren't really Chinese at all? They are an American invention. What about you? Do you have a favorite dessert? Kisses, lollipops, 
more and other kind of candies. I love pinatas because you could because it's fun to hit them and it's fun to jump in and get all the candy. I would normally hit it sideways. Or if it has a flat bottom, I would hit it upwards. If I could make a piñata, I would probably make a big humongous lollipop. Now that's a great story. My sweet tooth is throbbing. Hmm, my other sweet tooth wants to go to Russia. Where they're making rowan berry jam. Yo, me. Jam is very popular in Russia. The berry for this jam comes from the rowan tree, which some people believe has magical powers. You can eat these berries right off the tree, even if they are pretty bitter. But add a little sugar while you cook, and ta-da! A delicious jam. It seems people all over the world have one big sweet tooth. <gasps> what about you? Animals are a big part of our world. I guess I'm just one among many. In China, many people have pets. Cats, goldfish, and birds are all popular. Kids particularly have enjoyed crickets as pets. They were traditionally kept as pets for two reasons. One was for cricket bites, a popular sport. The other reason's a little nicer. People enjoyed the music they make. I have the voice of a thousand angels. Crickets are a symbol of courage and a symbol of summer. That's nice, and I'm sure crickets are a nice pet to have. But in my opinion, cats rule. What about you? Do you have a pet? I love hermit crabs because they sort of they bond together. They live in this sort of cage, and it's like a small world. But to them, it takes a whole day to like schlep across the tank. I have three of them: Phyllis, Courtney, and Big Abe. One day we found one of my little ones had buried himself completely under the water bowl. We couldn't find him. It took us a couple of days. It was really scary, but he was right under there, minding his own business. I always had hermit crabs. I love them. Now that's a great story. Pets make a lot of people happy. This girl in Australia has some unusual pets. That's because her mother rescues sick animals. They get phone calls when a new case comes in, like this baby opossum. While the animals are living with Emily and her mother, they're loved and cared for as pets. But the goal is to help the animals get better as fast as possible, so they can return to their natural environment. Even though she doesn't keep the animals as pets for long, Emily gets to meet and care for a lot of different creatures. So whether it's a cricket, a hermit crab, or an opossum, people all over the world like to care for pets. What about?